this is how I have my fishing kayak set up and rigged out modded this is a pelican catch 120 and uh, I love it I absolutely love it I really enjoy kayak fishing and uh, I have a bigger fishing boat and I enjoy shore fishing but uh, kayak fishing is where it's at guys it really is it uh, it is it is it is quite a feeling to be out on the water quietly stealthily just paddling through enjoying the scenery you slow down a little bit you smell the flowers and you catch some fish it really is a, a, a great experience but anyways back to my kayak again pelican catch 120 that's the way I have it rigged I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start at the beginning and just head headway to head to the back uh, if you guys looked at my other video you'll know that I had a uh, uh, what was it called it was a pelican kayak it was a angler 100x strike I believe and um, it just did not work out for me it's a very unstable kayak well, for me anyways, I'm a bigger guy, and me getting a 10-foot uh, kayak like that was uh, a bad idea. So, I was able to exchange it for uh, this butte, and I am can't be happier. So anyways, let me start from the beginning, or from the top, work my way to the back. Got a nice, uh, sturdy handle here. Pelican put their little logo here, and uh, what I did is I fixed a Scott, or I fixed a GoPro mount right here, so I can place the camera here and uh, get a nice view of the kayak and myself and the fish I catch. Uh, water resistant hatch, I wouldn't call it waterproof. It does have a gasket here. It does have a lip comes up which is nice that pelican does and it helps keep the water out but um, I would not say it's 100% waterproof so water resistant is a good description inside uh, you can see I have my transducer for my fish finder mounted you gotta make sure to get into one of those uh, pontoon hulls to um, Make sure that your transducer is close to the water or underneath the water line, I should say, to work properly. And then that's the wires in the gasket to my battery box, which is not inside the kayak. It's inside my garage at the moment. But uh, if you can picture a watertight box with a drilled hole in the side, a uh, regular 12 volt battery resting inside you'll know exactly what I have okay so close that up lock her into place you'll see that I put uh, my pieces of flare gotta have 15 folks I don't think I have 15 yet but I'm working on it so as we go in this direction um, some nice foot rests that are adjustable um, I added a fish finder, it's a Hook 3X, and there's a Lawrence for something or another around the same price. I think that's the better buy, um, but uh, I ended up getting this one. It's good for finding fish and giving me depth and temperature and all that stuff. Um, but I think the screen's just a touch smaller. Not, not positive, but you know, I'm in a kayak, I don't need a giant screen. But back to that, I mounted it to this piece of the hull, drilled a hole inside for the wiring. I gave myself a little uh, wiggle room because you can unplug it and pull this out for when I'm storing the kayak. I don't have to leave this on there. 
And then I uh, just zip tied the excess. Because this is just a fish finder, not a GPS, I wanted a compass. I couldn't find a plain old compass, but I found this, which I think is actually better. It's a uh, car accessory, and I had a double sided sticky mount I just used, and it's working out fine. Didn't have to drill any holes, and it doesn't seem to get too wet for to affect the adhesive, but um, it gives me a thermometer. Although I wouldn't say it's 120 degrees at the moment. Um, so I don't know how accurate that is. But, you know, it is sitting right in the middle of the sun. So, But I have my compass, so I know what direction I'm going in. And I have a clock. The clock is helpful. Because a lot of times the wife will be like, Okay, I need you back here in three or four hours. i got to do this or do that. And the time is right there. And I'm able to... Just look, look down without pulling out my phone and get a time. What else do we have here? Right here, you can get uh, this sticker decal on Amazon or at a sporting goods store, and it's just a ruler. So that way I'm able to measure my catches. So that was a nice find. Um, I added two track mounts right here, and uh, I do have to tell you not to get this type of track mount. It's it's the Scotty track mount, and the issue I had with this one is finding screws that would fit in between this track, but be wide enough to uh, give me a nice support in the boat so that's the challenge I had with with this so um, they make other mounts where the screws are along the side I if you're gonna do this I recommend getting that that type of uh, track mount and then, ooh, there's my paddle um, here's an eye there's an eye on the other side as well and uh, that's where I connect my anchor to, so that's perfect. Uh, another very sturdy plastic handle. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Little bungee, little hook, secures your paddle. There you go. There's one on each side, so I usually use one for a fishing pole and one for my paddle. Uh, for those of you who like uh, anchor trolleys this can serve as a small anchor trolley but uh, I don't like to put any tension on this more than I have to so that way uh, this cord lasts a long time seat nice and comfy seat breathable um, when I'm out, out on the water all day long this is perfect comfortable like I said two positions right now it's in the high position it can go down into um, if you see that little notch right there it can lower into there higher positions to help you with fishing the lower positions to help you with paddling my PFD strap to lock it into place when it's in the higher position I have my little go-to tackle box underneath and I just have it bungeed and clipped to the strap so that way I don't lose it. It goes back under the seat for storage. Going around. I use a milk crate. Those are the contents of my milk crate. You have flush mount rod holders on both sides. Uh, nice cargo area. And I don't know if you can see but it's molded to fit in the crate right here. So it stays right in place with just these bungees. Not too much wiggle room. Works out nicely. Keep my anchor in my crate. Um, I added a couple of bowl rod holders using PVC and then a post for my uh, camera mount. Also using PVC. I also built myself a kayak dolly 
instead of paying an exorbitant amount. I believe, I don't know, this might have run me $15 to build. <clears throat> Piece of 2x4 cut to the width of the back of the kayak. I had a seat cushion or knee pad, whatever you want to call it, um, cut into strips to put onto the um, 2x4. I used some marine goop since it'll be submerged in water every now and then. The wheels I picked up at Harbor Freight, I think for six bucks. Stainless steel bolt, stainless steel washer, screwed in the bolt to the 2x4, leaving enough wiggle room for the wheels to spin. And I attached a ball bungee that I'm able to just come around, hook up to that eye right there, or that hook hold it into place and it's a nice little system I'm able to wheel it down to the water just nicely and I saved a ton of money by making it myself I think the cheapest I saw on Amazon was around 40 50 bucks this might have cost me $15 using materials I had to buy and materials I had laying around the house back here another sturdy handle and then I have a spare um, paddle leash that I use for my skeg to hold it into place. I can slip it in underneath to a skeg base that I have glued on the bottom of the kayak and um, it helps with tracking because the width of this kayak causes it to have horrible horrible tracking and uh, this skeg definitely helps. It helps a lot. On to the other side, see the rest of my uh, crate. I have some items zip tied to the side. Instead of getting one of those crate caddies or pouches or whatever you want to call them that are on the pricey side, I just used um, a tool belt. The um, housing for my multi tool and the belt sheath for my utility knife. Fish grips on little retractable clips along with many of those pliers and all sorts of fishing goodies in there. So that is my kayak. This is how I have it rigged. Um, again, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's 11 feet 8 inches long, 34 inches wide at the beam, about 70 pounds, so it's not, it's not overly large, still a little cumbersome to move around, but I need it. I'm not a tiny guy, so I sacrificed a couple conveniences to do some kayak fishing, but overall I really like the boat. Uh, the Catch 120 NXT has a couple more upgrades that I really like. For instance, the track mounts are already installed behind the seat. There's dry storage installed on the NXT, and also back here, I think there's another hatch installed on the NXT. But it's a little bit pricier, from what I understand. Um, so, this is mine. I enjoy it a lot. I got it here. And um, they have great prices on kayaks, I gotta tell you. This kayak is normally, I believe, $7.99. And I think I got it for $5.99. So, great deal. I love her. I enjoy my time out on the water in it. That's all I can really say. I'll try to get some footage of me on the water to attach to this video for you guys. But, uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up on the Catch 120.